Damn, Tay, you play too much. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Um, in today's video, I'm just going to show you how to, you know, locate your plugins and put them, you know, to insert them on your vocal tracks or whatever it is that you're doing, your instrument tracks, so you can start, you know, adding some effects to it. So if you already seen my other video, uh, I think it was how, called How to Record in Luna, then you already know how to, you know, set it up and everything. Um, especially if you have the UAD uh, interfaces and everything. So check out that video. I'm going to put it up there in the little card or whatever. But assuming that you know how to do that, um, that's already set up. We're going to um, set up a session right here. And you can see on the screen. So we're just going to name this, um, I don't know, plugin video. And you got your, where you want to start from, AF is fine. Uh, tempos, whatever is fine, because I'm not really recording anything right now. I'm just showing you how to, you know, load up your plugins. It took me a while to figure this out, and I'm learning along with you guys. So, um, I, I want to start using Luna more. I like how it looks, and it reminds me of Pro Tools back in school, but kind of like a more simplified version of Pro, Pro Tools. But of course, as this go along, it's probably gonna get way more advanced, and it looks really good, and kind of like simplifies a lot of things. Not all those crazy shortcuts that we have to remember in school. Um, but I'm coming from FL Studio, so um, just a heads up. So right here, uh, if you look right here, create new track. So just create a track, vocals, or box, whatever. And it is right here. Um, this is how you record and enable. Um, I guess you can see it coming up right there. Um, then just hit record and press play. So over here, this is where you have your, your tape insert you want to record your, your, your recording effects um but of course if you have the this right here the console you could load up some stuff already in there um so that's how you could do it that way but this is the thing i was talking about in the other video you gotta make sure you set this up so you can start recording and you can see I'm recording got my audio right here nice and good so let's see Ugh insert so you get one insert i'm not sure how many inserts you get um but let's i don't know mess around with it insert so what do you want to add let's see um so right now i have these are all of my ua plugins i have most of them came with that and buying ua plugins because they're hella expensive um but you got a few right here probably about 10 or 15 like you got the let's go to teletronics Right here, um, you can go to this one. I'm just gonna click through these so you can see kind of how they look and everything. Um, yeah, I remember these from school. These are like the emulation versions, but you know, the pull tech. So, you know, I highly recommend you pick up like a UAD um, interface. The one I got was like, I think $400. Um, and I did a video about that too, so y'all can check that out. So you know you gotta you got, you got some good stuff, not cheap sounding, crappy stuff. And then of course you can scroll down. This is all the stuff that they recommend. I have these right here, but I don't have the UA D version. Yeah, I don't have the UAD version. I have the uh, I think the Waves version. But what I like about this is like. I didn't have to set anything up, like I just, it kind of, you know, went through the folders and everything. Excuse me. I'm burping. It went through the folder. Everything was labeled in categories, like when I get down, okay, here's some Apple stuff, which I don't use. Then I have my Melodyne, which you recognize already, I have my Fab Filter. Got quite a few isotope stuff. Got my nectar, ozone, neutron, stutter edit, vocal synth. And I got some, some native instrument stuff. I have more, I just didn't update on this mag. I got some, some other stuff. And I got some wave stuff right here. I really like waves. I'm slowly building up my um, 
a plug in the closet, I guess, as you say. So for me, what I would normally do, okay, so see right here, when I when I uploaded a plugin, it dropped down another one. So I don't know if it's like once you fill up the slot, it'll add a new one. But what I would do um, for my stuff, and you know, um, you won't hear the effects on how this works because it's just showing you like how to get to them. But I'm definitely going to do a video, a separate video on that uh, as I get used to using this uh, doll right here. So like what I'll do is I'll get the studio rack up, which is highly recommend you get that. Because then it's like, okay, you can use one insert slot right here, but you can use like, what is this, eight? One, two, three, four, yeah, eight right here. So you can just stack eight on top. So like, let's say, okay, you want to start, um, I don't know, EQ in first. Oh, oh, messed up. Let's say, okay. You want to start EQing. All right, we'll use the API. Yeah. Got the Waze version. Okay, let's do some some dynamics. Let's get this in here. The API again. All right, let's throw another, just for the sake of it. All right, uh, I don't know. <laughs> just throwing stuff up there. But you know, you get the gist on how you could use the Waze uh, Studio Rack and everything. And this is just this first part. You can even set macros and everything. Of course, you could adjust everything that you want individually in here. And then, you know, um, blend them and mix them, you know, with the fader right here. So you could add the right amount of whatever it is that you want to add. Um, so, yeah, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, guys, so that's it for this video. This is a quick video. Hopefully you liked it. Um, just highlighting how to find your inserts and everything because it took me a while to find it on when I was trying to do um, a, a quick video the other day and I was like okay maybe some other people you know would like to learn how to do this uh, so I have to you know figure it out um, and as you see right here you got your sins or whatever that you could do you could route um, and everything but you know I'll probably go over that another time but um, that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, follow me on Instagram. Um, it'll be up on the screen right there. And you know, let me know if you like these type of videos. Please let me know because I'm just trying to put out content that people will like and you know that, that are useful. But that's it guys. Peace. See y'all later. Bye. Stay blessed.